Hey you too, welcome back to Linear Inequalities. Today we're going to solve the Dabrick problem. So exactly we want to graph the region which is defined by inequalities or by the system of inequalities. So here is the problem. A region R is defined by the following set of inequalities. X more or equal than 2, Y more or equal than 1, X plus Y less or equal than 8, and 2y plus x strictly less than 6, okay? So actually, uh, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to apply all those theoretical bases that we've covered in the previous video. So for those who didn't watch them, so I encourage you to first watch to understand the general strategy and the methods of regions, how we can exclude the unwanted area by shading, and in the end, we'll be left with the region that satisfy our set of equations or inequalities. In this case, I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to shade unwanted region every time, just going step by step from one inequality to another one. And actually, finally, we'll be left with wanted area or desirable area. So in, in linear programming applications and linear prog programming problems, this region is called feasible region that actually satisfy the set of the equa equations and inequality. Okay, guys, let's get started. We've got a Cartesian plane. So I set up Y and X axis here, and we just keep exploring uh, each inequality starting from the first one. Okay, so let's first explore x more or equal than 2. So actually we equate and we've got x equals 2. It's here. So 2, we drop the coordinates, which is 2 in this case. And we set up the vertical line indicating how the region is split. Okay. So we've got, so I can use that one and actually I'll use that color. Okay. So Using the purple one, I'll indicate all critical points and all the boundaries for each inequality. In this case, the boundary actually comes from a vertical line and goes in this way, okay, and goes vertically. So which region I need to shade as unwanted? So I'm going to shade that region. So using, let's say, a red color, it's pretty good. So a bit more, okay. So I'm going to use shade on the wanted region. In this case, everything less than two is not satisfying our inequality. Okay, so I shaded that. All right, so next one. Why more? So actually, uh, I, I want to notice that this region, which is for x, any point for x, more or equal than to satisfy. So that's why we use the solid line. Okay, so let's go to the next inequality. The next inequality is simply y more or equal than one. So the level the level one is here. So that's why more or equal than one is the horizontal line. So the level of one, it goes this way. It's again solid one. And I put one here. And now I'm going to shade the region, which is below level one. So below the vertical line, y equals one. So I'm going to shade that. So that's, sorry, just a bit below here. So this is going to be the region that we are not satisfied with. So that's why we left with the top right corner. So actually when the line x equals 2 and y equals 1 intersect. All right, so let's move next. In this case, we are going to solve the third inequality, x plus y, less or equal than 8. Okay, so how we can do that? So we can do it in two ways. Because um, actually, in previous video, I explained two ways how to cope with this sort of inequality. So simply rearrange that and say, okay, we're going to use a uh, third one as y less or equal than 
minus x and plus 8. So actually, we can figure out that the y-intercept is going to be 8. So that's why, let's do one more time, let's set up y-x axis, choose the black color, so it's here, okay, this is y, this is x-axis, okay, and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to set up the first point, which is 8, it's here, so where is 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, so it's here, at the very top, that's the level of 8, and this is y-intercept, and another intercept, let's say, uh, we can figure out x-intercept, but because our region is here, so actually we can understand where is this line, line number 3, cross the line y equals 1, so because that's an equation of the line y equals 1, okay? So that's an equation for the line x equals 2, that's the vertical one. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to use interse inter intersection with y equals 1. So if I plug that and change into equality, so I get 1 equal to minus x plus 8. You understand why I changed the sign into the equality sign? Because I'm looking for an in intersection of two lines, y equals so I set up y equals minus x plus 8 and the line y equals 1. So I'm looking for the common point. So from here, from that equation, I can figure out that x equals 7. So from where I can figure out that intersection point when x equals 7. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So actually that is going to be uh, intersection point of two lines, so that's why I drop, I'm going to drop the line. Uh, in this case, it's non-strict inequality, so less or equal than 8. So I drop the line, and I use that color again that goes through the point 8, so probably worse to do this way, and go somewhere down. Okay. And the region that we I'm not going to have, in this case, let's have a look at the inequality. In this case, it's clear that uh, any y less or equal than the equation of the line minus x plus 8 is satisfied for our inequality. So that means this is wanted area. So above is going to be unwanted region. So I'm going to shade unwanted region here. So I'm going to use that one. This is unwanted region. Okay, right now we stay with triangle, so I refresh all the lines that go so far. Okay, that one and this one, okay? And obviously that one. So we've got all three lines and what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to set up inequality or equation for each line. So that's x equals 2, that y equals 1, and here y equals negative x plus 8. So actually, as you notice, I use the gradient intercept form to understand where is y for our region. So right now, desirable region is below that line, and this line is solid. And for the last one, for the fourth line, I'm going to rearrange it slightly. So what I'm going to do, I'm just divide everything by two. And by dividing those uh, both parts of inequality, I'll get y. And also I can transfer x to the right side. So I'll get y less, strictly less than negative x over 2 plus 3. So look guys, I divided by 2, 2y, two so I've got y. Then I transfer x, I've got minus x, and then I divide it by 2, I've got minus x over 2, and then plus 6 over 2, which is 3. So right now I've got this form as an equation of the line, and actually uh, inequality uh, for the desirable region, y is less than the equation of the line, so 
if we consider about if we consider the line, so the equation for the line is going to be y equals negative x over 2 plus 3. And we know right now that 3 is y intercept, so this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, all right? So we set up the first point, okay, it's here, okay. And actually, because we are going to, uh, the line goes with negative gradients, the gradient is negative 1 over 2, so we can again set up uh, intersection with line y equals 1, so if I plug y equals 1 and say, where is the intersection of my line with that equation, with equation uh, with the line with equation y equals 1, I'll get the following. So y equals negative x over 2 plus 3. So from where, if you solve that, we've got the x coordinates for that point of intersection as um, so minus 2 and times by minus 2, I've got minus 4, I guess. Uh, let me see. So one more time. No, it's gonna be it's gonna be sorry plus four. Yeah, it's, I see that the negative gradient should be somewhere here. So one more time, if you solve the solution for that equation, it's gonna be x equals plus four. Okay, so one more time, let's do it. Uh, let's check it. So one transfer here. I've got two negative x over two transfer here. It's going to be x over 2 equals 2, so from where x equals 4. All right, so x equals 2, then 3, then 4. So we've got that level here, and this is going to be the intersection with the line y equals 1. So I'm going to drop the line right there. So the line goes through the point negative, sorry, 3, and actually be precisely a little bit up. So I'll start with from that point and drop the line down. All right, so where is our inequality? The inequality tells us that y is going to be less. So that's why I rearrange. So and actually what I've got, I've got inequality y is less than strictly less. So that's why my failure actually i'm going to use the dash line so instead of a solid line i will use dash line that will indicate that we're not going to include the boundary okay so yeah that's perfect and the last what we need to do we need to shade unwanted region so let's shade unwanted region is going to be the last one so because we've got y is less than the equation of the line, so our wanted region, as you can see, is that small triangle, so we can shade everything above there, okay? That is going to be unwanted region for the last inequality. So that's why we finally left, let's drop an equation for the line, so we've got for that line, we've got an equation y equals to negative x over 2 and plus 3. So actually, that's the force. You can even mark them if you like. So that's the first line, that's the second line, that's the third line in gradient intercept form, and that's the first line, which is dashed. And now we stayed with this small triangle. So if you want, I can highlight the parts. So from where, from there, that's the bottom part, that's the vertical side, and that's the dashed line. It means that boundary is not included. Okay, so we actually found that region. So what we can do actually, it's to tell the truth is actually we can somehow we can set up the vertices of that region. In this case, we are set completely defined region. So in this case, what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to uh, use the coordinates of the vertex. So if I mark the vertex with A, B, and the last C, I'm just simply figure out the points for A. So A is the corner, and it has the coordinates 2, x equals 2, and y equals 1. So I can set up the coordinates immediately. So 2 and 1 here, okay. So what about B? 
for B we've got uh, in this case we are going to consider intersection so X is 2 right but what about Y so Y is the intersection of that vertical line which has an equation x equals 2, okay? So we're going to say that x equals 2 intersect, so I'll use the sign of intersection with the line y equals negative x over 2 plus 3. So from where, if I plug x equals 2 into the equation, I'll get the following y equals 2. So if I plug there, I can get the y value, so it's going to be negative 1 plus 3, so it's going to be 2. So that's actually the level of 2. And we can say that b has coordinates 2 and 2. And the last one, the c, it has clearly 4 for x and 1 for y, so that's why we can set up the last thing here. I just diminish a little bit. And lastly, we've got the c coordinates which is 4 and 1 for y. Okay, so that's why we've got the region. Now we've got that region, which is defined by the vertices. So this is a right angle triangle. So the right angle is here. So we found all the vertices. And right now, if you ask to find the area, let's just discuss the extra bonus, extra question here. Let's try to find the area. Okay, you know all the coordinates, how to figure out the area. If you want to figure out the area of the region R, it's simply area of triangle, so 1 over 2. The base is simply AC. The length is from 2 to 4, so it's 2. Multiply by height from level 1 to 2 is 1. And here we go. We've got the area to be one in total so one units squared okay we've got everything we discuss how to grab the region set up by linear inequalities or the system of inequalities and in the next video we try to solve the inverse task by using the region so the region will be grabbed for you you'll 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 need to define the set of inequalities that your region actually is determined by Okay, so I hope you liked that. That was actually interesting and this was GCC, definitely higher level. So I hope you understand how to work with inequalities, how to work with uh, lines, how to uh, convert it from general form into gradient, intercept form in order to understand where is your desirable region and where is unwanted area that you want to actually shade it. And finally, we left with this triangle as the final region all right thank you guys don't forget to subscribe you are in 2020 and this video is actually in the set of uh, videos dedicated to gcc is actually relevant to you for your examinations coming soon daniel dallas peace out